first, live, local. More Good Day Oregon starts now. All right, thanks, Steph. Taking healthy foods to another level by selecting sustainable seafood and ingredients. Chef Gerard, how do you say your last name? Viverito. Viverito, I like that. Nice, good, great Italian name, yep, right? Yeah, absolutely. yeah. He's in charge of culinary education with passionfish.com, and he's here now to talk about how you can get sustainable fish and other ingredients right in your neighborhood, right? Right. A um, couple of things to do is just start talking to your, your distributors. Go to the grocery store, ask them, and, you know, ask questions. If, if they know that you're interested, mm -hmm. they'll take an interest. Um, as I said, passionfish.com is, a, or .org, I'm sorry, is a nonprofit we started years ago, 11 years ago in California to introduce people to, to new seafoods, to get them to see what's sustainable, what's available, what's low impact on the environment. And what do you mean by sustainable for those? Yeah, sustainable stuff? is how many can you take out of the sea or out of a river, out of a lake without damaging the population so they can continue to reproduce in a, in a sound way, gotcha. and not hard on the environment, what fish have low environmental environmental impact sure, and sure, health sure. benefits. That, that makes sense and that, and that goes for things like... A lot of these ingredients as well too, yeah, yeah. traveling the what world. Do we have here? Um, some ingredients that I start recommending people use when they cook, maybe these are pepitas. These are green pumpkin seeds. These are great for adding antioxidants. They're great flavor. They add uh, omega fatty three acids just like seafood. Okay. Uh, some whole grains. People don't get enough grain in their diet. So, you know, maybe crust fish with some oats or something. Quinoa, a super, super nutritious uh, whole grain great starch. People are always looking for new starches for fish. People are tired of potatoes and rice. So, And I know this. this is garlic, garlic love, great for that. your health. So, you know, <laughs> maybe a polenta, wheat berries, couscous, um, sure. or even uh, the quinoa. How do you cook your fish? These days, you know, when I was on a, a sustainable mission in, in Asia, I went to Thailand to speak to uh, address a bunch of people, and I came across new oils to cook with. We all know about cooking with olive oil, yep, great yep, health course. benefits. Yep, yep. There's this. This is from Malaysia. It's called a uh, red palm fruit oil. It's, okay. It's a very healthy uh, cholesterol neutral oil, super high uh, smoke point. You can't really burn it. Beautiful color from vitamin A and yeah, E, tocotrienols, cool. tastes like butter. Uh, number one used oil on the planet. Sometimes you can find it in this you know, smart balance spread that people use. It's also in a white form. Uh, other ingredients when I make salads these days, goji berries. These are from Goji Asia. berries. Yeah, okay. they, they have super high in omega fatty three acids. What do they taste like? Are they like they, cranberries? It's it's um, yeah, like a cranberry. It's kind of sweet, a little sour. Now when I make vinaigrettes, cocoa powder. People always think, well, chocolate's just for dessert. No, you could put it into a little vinaigrette. Maybe you're doing like a lamb salad or or so or you put the, you put the cocoa powder in, right into, into your dressing. Yeah. Oh, that's and that sounds great. It just gives it a great. nice depth and smokiness. Now where can you get things like this? All right? of these can come from your local grocery store. Everything here is. Um, from a local market here in town. You, know, you can either go right down the road, you have a Wujimaya okay. for the Asian ingredients, sure. Whole Foods. Um, sweeteners I like to use. I don't like to increase blood sugar too much. So yeah. agave syrup from the same uh, cactus they make tequila from. Very so cool. Knows that. Apple cider vinegar, great for alkalining the body. If your body's alkaline, you resist disease. So all, right. all these ingredients can go. Add a little liquid amino acid, spray it right on instead of salt. Well, thank you so much yeah. for joining us today. Thanks yeah, great tips here. And uh, we put a link to passionfish.org on our website. Uh, or you can just go right to it. We'll be right back.